Hey everybody, this is Paul Gilbert. My name is Billy Sheehan and we are from Mr. Mr. Big. Big. You're watching us right here on Music News Television. Thank you for watching and we'll see you around on tour. Yeah, we, we, uh, when we did the reunion, we just wanted to play. But everybody kept asking, when are you going to do a record? So we said, you know, we don't know. We, so it wasn't until about a month or two after the tour was done that we actually got together on a phone call and said, uh, okay, the tour was a lot of fun, so I would imagine a record would be enjoyable too. And then soon after, What If was born. Yeah, well, it was, um, well, it's never actually easy. Uh, so there's a lot of hard work involved, but uh, it's a great kind of hard work. It's enjoyable hard work, so we did enjoy it very much. Well, I think uh, there's a combination of sameness and changes. The, uh, the thing that I'm really happy about is that it's all the original members of Mr. Big. And so we still have the same original sound and power that we had from the first day of the band until now. And, uh, but of course, we've had so many musical experiences over the years, so I think that the music has a depth to it that maybe uh, is, goes further than we could go before. Uh, but that's it. I think it's, this, it's the same guys doing the same thing, but hopefully doing it better and deeper and more rocking than we ever have. woo -hoo! Well, it's always hard to pick one special song because we work, uh, each song is special to us in some way. Uh, so it's hard to say. And sometimes if you have one, it'll change in another week. So it's hard to say which is the one. But um, I think the thing we offer on this record that's a little bit different uh, is uh, absolute reality. You know, it's a, it's a real record where we really played and really sang in the same room together. We wrote the songs in a room together. So it was all a, a really real thing. There's no fake trickery or phony baloney uh, uh, stuff on there that uh, a lot of bands, a lot of pop bands, not many rock bands, a lot of pop bands use that fake phony stuff, but we wanted to be real and really play and perform. So what we did on this record is what we, what we played is what you hear, and that's good. Oh, let's see. I can't even think of it. I and mean, at the moment, I'm so immersed in Mr. Big. This is this, tonight we're doing the first show of our European tour. And so all of my mind, body, and spirit is, is getting ready to do this show tonight and all the shows after it. And uh, it's, it's funny, like, the, the first question you had was, you know, I asked you a year and a half ago and you didn't know what was going on in the future. And at least for me, and I, I, I think a little bit for the other guys, um, we're so into what we're doing in, in the present time that we're not thinking about what's happening three months from now or six months from now or a year from now. What's happening with us is tonight, the show tonight. Yeah. And uh, that's, uh, it just it takes everything you have to, that's, and I, I like that. I, I like living in the moment like that. It's a great, a great life. Yeah, just as we're not thinking about the future, we're not so much thinking about the past either. You know, all of us have done a lot in all of our lives leading up to now. And I think anything we do now is a reflection of everything we've been through. So whatever it is we've been through, I think, uh, I think it's good because now things are going well and the band sounds great and we're having a good time. So whatever it is we did with whatever band, I think it all adds up to, like Paul said, to right now and it's all good. And the things you got me through Well, I think the, well, Paul and I almost always give the same advice, and that is get in a band and start playing. Learn some songs and start playing. Perform it live. The best way for any musician to really know if he's got it or if he doesn't is to get up on stage and play. 
I almost refused. Somebody sends me a link to their video, and it's them sitting in their bedroom playing to a YouTube video. I almost, re I, don't, I don't want to watch it. I want to see somebody in a band. I want to see them singing and playing at the same time, because that's the real test. So I urge every young musician to get in a band, learn songs, you know, uh, uh, learn, a, learn 20 Beatles songs, learn five Hendrix songs. You know, they never go wrong, and they'll stay with you for, your, for life. So it's the best advice, I think. Both of us kind of give that advice a lot. Play songs in a band, live in front of people. Debe ser tolerada.